YouTube. So many of you guys are asking me, is the Nikon Z6 II good for birding? Because most of you guys know that I do a lot of that on my channel. Is this good for birding? Now, this is the Nikon Z6 II with the 200-500. And my answer to you guys is, if you're a hobbyist, sure. Yes, that's a perfect setup for you. But if you're an enthusiast to pro, I would have to say no. Save your money, get a DSLR, get a D500, get a D850. Get a DSLR in general because the animal tracking on the Z6 II is not there yet. Yep, I don't normally shoot with the animal tracking, but a lot of people have been asking me about that just because the Canon R5 has that function and it seems to work like magic. And I have used that actually with the 100 to 500 RF lens. And let me just summarize right quick with the R5. The Canon R5 animal tracking is a lot better than the Nikon Z6 II. It's not perfect, but it's in the right direction. However, the Canon R5 in general, I cannot recommend it because at $4,000 roughly, um, it's not a good system for wildlife in my opinion, because when the battery drops, everything drops along with it, especially your frames per seconds and mechanical and if you're shooting electronic, you're shooting at 12 bits. And also once your battery drops 50% and it goes below, your camera starts to freeze up and it's just not a good experience because there were many times where my camera just froze and I just sat there and I just like, but yes, it do freeze up sometimes. And also at $4,000, it has blackout. So that's the R5 in all summary, of course, but with the Nikon Z6 II right here, it's a, uh, there's no battery problems. There's no, no freezing problems on this camera. There's none of that problem. It just doesn't have the autofocus. Yes, for the Nikon Z6 II, when tracking birds in the blue skies, as you can see, it does pretty okay. It's not perfect. It does the exact same thing like the R5. Now for those folks that haven't been watching my channel, I tested the Sony's, I tested the Fuji, and also the Canon's. For the Nikon, it's the same deal. It's not perfect. It's roughly around like 80 to 90% hit rate with blue skies. Now, with that in mind, with the animal tracking, basically, if you are tracking things in complex scenes, like I always say, the system seems to be lost. And this time I do have it on film. When you track your subject, the system kind of gets lost. It tracks the background. It does not detect the animal. It's it's kind of weird. And to think about it, the A6000 has this issue. And also the Fuji has this issue. The Canon R5 also has this issue at times. So this is a mirrorless problem, not just a Nikon problem. This is just a mirrorless problem right here. But for the Nikon Z6 II, it does not track the birds that well. And here is a scene right here. Here is a bald eagle. It's just sitting there. And if I have a R5 with full battery power, I could definitely track this bird and nail the shot. But with the Nikon Z6 II, it does not know it's a bald eagle sitting there. It's just sitting there. I tested so many autofocus function in the Z6 II and it just doesn't snap onto the bird. Now, of course, while doing this whole testing, I did miss my shot, the bird flew away and uh, I was pretty disappointed. It's a weird situation with the Nikon Z6 II. It just doesn't snap on to static birds like the Canon R5s. Um, yeah, hopefully Nikon do fix that. And yes, for those people that are asking me about the blackouts, you do get blackouts and it's very, it's annoying. It does ruin the shot. I don't usually do animal tracking. I usually use a single point, but with the single point, once you hit your target, you're one second behind time. So you need to re I guess refocus on your subject again. It's not like the DSR where you can just continue shooting the bird. With a Nikon Z6 II, every time you take a shot, you just gotta recompose your shot every single time. And that's kind of annoying with single point. So with that in mind, it's just not there for wildlife photography. I would definitely recommend DSLR. And hopefully Nikon fixes the algorithm with the animal tracking because I even had a hawk sitting there and the best setting to get that hawk shot was single point. And yeah, that's all I can tell you guys. If you guys are shooting at a hawk, sitting there, single point. R5, you could just leave it at animal tracking, it will just snap onto the eyes. So that's something for you guys to know. So Nikon do have some firmware updates for this system. So let's just be fair right here. Nikon Z6 II is about a month old. The Canon R5 is about what, three, four months old. So they did have time to update their firmware. So with the Nikon, hopefully maybe by next spring, we'll see some new firmware for the animal tracking. But currently right now, as of today of November 30th, 2020, 
the tracking is not that good. Now, I'm gonna end this video with some outtakes of my tracking with the bird. You guys can see the rest of the video. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for checking me back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace.